What's up guys, here's 20 I hope you're doing well, today we're back in automation. The plan for today is pretty simple, I'm gonna do a tutorial in automation how to build an engine. Of course I'm gonna use three different categories, we're gonna do a basic engine, not a lot of power, reliable, a sportier engine, a little more power but still reliable, and then your third category is gonna be your power engine. Note I am gonna do different layout engines, so an inline 4, a V6 and of course a V12 because V12 is associated with high performance etc. That is typically my opinion so let's start with engine number 1. And other couple of things to note, the year is going to stay the same but the quality sliders is going to vary. So we're getting our inline 4 ready so we're going to do an aluminum block. Displacement I'm going to leave at 2 liters. We're going to do a dual overhead cam engine, 5 valves per cylinder, aluminum head and a quality slider is going to be on plus 2 for the majority of this engine. So our rotating assemblies consist of a crankshaft, it is cast iron, cast pistons, cast rods, no balancing shaft and balancing will do if necessary. Now for camshaft or cam profile rather I'll do a profile of 50 and of course a compression of 10 to 1. We will do VVT on intake only plus 3, plus 2 quality, no turbo, we're not going to mess with that with the first engine. So we're going to do injection, we're going to do multi-port because that is a sort of old school standard but in today's world it can be different. So we're going to do regular 91 with a little bit of advance, of negative 1 degree of advance, just to keep things sort of normal. We're going to do a cast mid-manifold, no other exhaust tomfoolery, so we do, we're gonna do a cat, we're gonna do a reverse flow, and a reverse flow mufflers. They, they make the most power for what we're doing here. As you can see there, pretty reliable, decently weighted, decently power. So we're gonna increase the intake manifold just a little, and pretty much get it up to about 200 horsepower is respectable. A little bit of a sportier cam, make it rev out just a little more. So about 6600 is fine. 161 horsepower, this is what it sounds like. Sounds pretty good, decently powered and pretty reliable. So let's move to engine number 2. Now it's time for the sportier engine. So the displacement is going to stay the exact same. They're leaving at that 3 liters, dual overhead cam, 5 valves per cylinder, aluminum head as well. The quality sliders is going to be on 10, plus 10, excuse me, for the majority of this engine. I'm going to do a forged rotating assembly, balancing shafts, because it is a sportier engine, so it needs it a little more. We're doing VVT on all cams, of course. Twin turbo. Smart boost controller. And of course, plus 10 quality. Injection, we're going to do multi-point again. The single per cylinder configuration. We're doing a performance mud. As in my opinion, that works good. We're running it on Super 98 with a advancement of timing to 2 degrees. Let's see, no, I think I'm gonna leave it there. That's good, plus 10 quality. So we're gonna do a mid turbo setup. That looks cool, so that's a cool header. Again, with reverse flow mufflers and a cat. Just so it stays, well, pretty in, pretty in range in the emissions category, so to speak. Because after all, if you're building an engine, you should typically look at these parameters. Note our cam profile is going to be on 70, so it's just above sporty. We're going to do, I think for this engine, 9.5 compression ratio is good. We can rev it out a little bit. So I think about 8500 is going to work beautifully. Now we can add some boost. Oh, I didn't look what was holding us back. Oh, the exhaust is holding us back. Okay. So, there we go. 
700 horsepower, that's, that's a very respectable V6, and we're quite reliable at this power level. But I think, because it is me, let's push for about 750, because these days 750 looks to me is the standard. If you look at the Mustangs, you look at the Corvettes, you're looking at GTRs, is a very, very, very good example of this. They make a boatload of power whilst having a decently sized engine. I mean, 3.8, some guys run 4.2. So that is decentable, decent horsepower, excuse me. Ooh, can't talk today. So I think, yeah, 800 horsepower. I'm going to leave it there. As you can see, it looks pretty good. I'm going to run it now. So let's see what it sounds like. Sounds pretty good. I love it. Alrighty, so now let's start with our V12 base, which is going to be a 60 degree V, an aluminum block of course, I'm leaving it at 6 liters, we're doing dual overhead cam, 5 hours per cylinder, aluminum head, and here we go with the race parts, so it's going to be a plus 15 quality slider on everything, I forgot to change this, so let's do that, do a forge rotating assembly, that's looking good. With the cam setup, I'm immediately going to set it at about 80, as well as a compression because we're going to run this on nitro. Most people don't run nitro because it's very expensive and you need a lot of injector for it. So turbo system is going to be pretty simple, we're going to do twin turbo setup, with smart boost controller, twin scroll to turbo back half holder, Ooh. twin scroll back half, Ooh. okay, so you can do direct injection and a race configuration in the per cylinder setup you see it looks pretty cool most people would run methanol because it's the hot fuel and it also cools down the air, air inlet charge that is the temperature of your air that's coming into your engine that's creating well your power so to speak <laughs> correct me if i'm wrong down below in the comment section while you're down there please do consider to hit that subscribe button that like button and share it with a friend it really helps me out thank you so much for considering that so let's move forward headers we're going to do a tubular race header two outlets of course high flow cat reverse flow mufflers that to me works beautifully so i think so far we're almost on 3000 horsepower we're looking good so far so i'm gonna go back to the top end now and change our rpm rev limiter way up there how far can we go 9900 i think 9500 and let's increase our boost a little bit not too much so the turbine temp is very high now that we fixed that, it's looking really good. So let's push for 5,000 horsepower. And then I'm calling it good for there. Okay. Let's increase this again. So we're running out of real estate here. So let's push a little more. Let's go and let's go up. About to there. Let's increase the intake manifold size again make more power 5000 horsepower there we go it looks beautiful this is good okay so now i'm gonna run the engine we're gonna do two pulls as always one looking at the engine one looking at the graph so let's go This was my tutorial on how to build an engine with all three categories considered. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.